action voyage most boaters would call reckless, just to prove a point. As Bay News 9's Hernando County reporter Ferdinand Zotbaum shows us, they took a vessel meant for the shallows and put it out to sea. Check out this home video of some dolphins about 300 miles offshore in the Atlantic Ocean. It was one of the highlights of a 1,500-mile boat trip Ralph Brown and his brother took in early May. Making that kind of voyage on the open ocean in a sailboat like this would be relatively safe if you know what you're doing and you have the right equipment. But Ralph and his brother made the trip on this 21-foot flats boat. We only had serious water on the boat once, and the boat's self-bailing. Setting aside what most boaters would say is their nautical common sense, the brothers strapped about 2,000 gallons of fuel to the flats boat and set out from Atlantic Beach, North Carolina to Bermuda. After that leg of the trip, they made another journey up to New York City. The entire time they were all alone, no other boats escorting them. It's just it wasn't scary at all. Brown is a boat designer and used his skills to craft the vessel called an intruder. Most flats boats are designed for fishing in shallow water and not made for the open sea. But Brown says his boats can handle both, and he and his brother made the trip to prove it. A lot of people are calling you nuts. Well, I've heard that from a few people, okay, but if you were actually in the boat, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think so. The only time they had a close call during the trip is when they got too close to a whale. I said, fully on this, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm going to get away from that whale. Each leg of the voyage took about two and a half days. Brown says when they got tired, they just crashed on the back of the boat. Right there. Right there. Brown says the trip was a blast, and the next time he heads into the open sea, it will be for Hawaii, and he will take the same boat. In Pasco County, Ferdinand Zogbaum, Bay News 9.